Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And it is me, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector with some more Transformers. Transformers week, and we got some Transformers Connector Box. Decepticons or Construct Bots, want to be specific. And just like usual, I'm going to show off what year these figures came out in. So I'm getting out my tablet. What year did Transformers Construct Bots come out in? 2013. So these figures are extremely old as of this year and yeah but we got megatron and blitzwing from construct bots got bad old blitzwing here i'm not gonna bother transforming them because they're really brittle at the joints so yeah these figures are extremely old from something from 2013. the eyes are really well painted red which i like in sec the Decepticon Insignia badge is done really nice. Other than that, it's a really good figure. Articulation, pretty good. Bend at the knee. Ankle tilt. Hinge at the joints. Arm, it's got a lot of articulation. Ball jointed shoulders. A lot of articulation for these construct bots. Head is on a ball joint, but you can't get much movement out of it. But that's all there is to say for Decepticon Blitzwing. Articulation. But now, for comparison, here is Construct Job. Sorry, correction moment. Here is Transformers Construct Bots Blitzwing. Next to Optimus Prime and the Autobot known as Ironhide. Not bad for comparison. Now we're going to do Megatron articulation, which is going to be simple. Bend at the knee, ankle, ankle hinge, bend at the knee, bend at the arm. Arm can go up that far, go out that far due to the articulation. Second verse, just like the first. And we got Megatron hooked up with this thrust pack, which is attached to his back so he can get off into the air if you want. But I'm not going to bother transforming him either, given his articulation and his joints are really brittle. Head is on a ball joint, which is nice. But now, for comparison. Here is Transformers Construct Bots Megatron. Next to fellow Decepticon, Blitzwing. And Blitzwing is slightly taller than Megatron. Here is Transformers Construct Bots Blitzwing next to an Autobot. It's Ironhide. And followed by his Eternal... Rival, Optimus Prime, why not? Dare I say, why not? Are Transformers Construct Bots worth adding to your collection of Transformers? I'd say yes. They are fun to just mess around and they're fun to just construct and build. But transforming them, I'd say they're a bit brittle for their age, so I wouldn't mess around with these figures. Unless you want to break them. Well, that's all there is to say for this review. If you enjoyed this throwback review to Transformers Construct Bots, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you. And this is Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.